Well, this hurts. We are 24 degrees colder now than we were at this point 24 hours ago. That's how much of an impact that cold front had on us overnight, and that colder air has just leached in. I mean, we are still in the 30s, 37 degrees in Lexington, the same in Mount Sterling, Danville, upper 30s in Richmond. A little pocket of slightly milder air into our southern counties. You're still holding on to around 50 in Williamsburg, but uh, everybody has cooled down, and I hope at some point yesterday you got a, the chance to get out and soak up the 60s, the sunshine, the breeze, because we're back to the more typical cold hard reality of late February weather. 37 degrees out there for the current looking downtown. A lot of cloud cover hanging in a northeast wind sustained at 12 miles per hour. And on top of that, there is some moisture on the move. Some little spotty rain showers have been cropping up and with the temperature set up that we're in now, you can't rule out the possibility of a hint of uh, some mixed precipitation with a few of these. We're definitely seeing it up across parts of southern Indiana, southern Illinois. This is the main wave that will impact us. This is going to roll in by mid to late afternoon into this evening. Could be an impact for your evening commute, but will be just mild enough. We'll keep it mainly just cold rain. So a southern low cuts by to our south and then curves up the east coast, uh, kind of running that old frontal boundary that came through yesterday. And since that low is down south, it's going to keep the colder air in place and also uh, keep a little bit of moisture running. And the last thing we need is moisture. We've still got a couple of lingering flood warnings, northern Leslie County and down towards uh, Burksville uh, due to flooding along the Cumberland and uh, points southeast are still continuing to dry out from all the rain we had last week and over the weekend. And it's the end of this week. And here it comes. The good news about this, the only good news that there is to be had is it's generally light. There may be some moderate showers south. And still looking at that chance I talked about on sunrise this morning of a little bit of a wintry mix, maybe some light snow up around Covington. Temperatures above freezing, upper 30, so it shouldn't have much of an impact on the roads. They'll be wet. They may be slick up north for the evening commute. And then generally we're going to dry out going into the early part of the weekend. You can see the precipitation amounts remaining very light until you hit Sunday. And then boom, they take off. That's where we'll have a more robust shot of moisture rolling in, showers, possibly some snow on the back end Sunday night and Monday. And clearly there is a temperature drop coming. This is an Arctic outbreak. Temperatures crash early next week. We may have highs in the 20s with lows way down in the teens. And you can see these are forecast highs from European computer models. Give you an idea of what we're in for Monday into Tuesday. I mean, just look at the core of that bitterly cold Arctic air. That's some wicked cold stuff. We could be running anywhere from 20 to 25 degrees below our average high. And uh, just frigid for a couple of days before temperatures moderate but only slightly later in the week. So yeah, those 60s were nice. It's just hard to keep that going this time of the year, and we're not. Uh, around the low 40s, if you're lucky today, a little milder down south, colder up north where you may have that bit of a wintry mix way up towards Covington, far northern Kentucky. Freezing tonight, the showers diminish into the weekend. Temperatures do bounce back to the low 50s Saturday, so it won't be bad. We'll have a lot of cloud cover hanging around. Then it just gets messy at the end of the weekend, and there you can see the core of that colder air crashing in. Monday, Tuesday next week. All right, Tom, thank you.